Fact Finder sitting down with the Better Business Bureau to keep you up to date on all of the latest scams. And we're sitting down with Josh Planos with the BBB today. And Josh, this is something we've talked about a lot here with Fact Finder gift card scams. You know, a lot of people use them, especially we just had the holidays. But scammers also are using them to steal people's money. So, what are some of the red flags that people need to be aware of if they're going to buy or use a gift card? So it's right there in the name, right? These are meant to be gifts. Um, so anytime someone is asking for a gift card as a mode of payment for any sort of product, uh, what, uh, assuming that it's not for that retailer in question, that should set off some red flags. Uh, typically, scammers uh, turn to these uh, products because the, those transactions are irreversible. So that money is not coming back once it has been sent to a scammer, unlike, say, uh, paying for counterfeit goods with a credit card, which, of course, has some built-in fraud protection. So it is a very popular gift around the holidays and in the months following, but it's also a gift that carries some confusion with the advent of digital cards, uh, and it's a mode of payment that's difficult to police, which makes it uh, the perfect transactional figure for, for a scammer. And then also, Josh, you know, we've seen it with a couple of people who have called into us, you know, government agencies, Apple, big companies, they're not going to go and ask the consumer, hey, go buy this gift card for me, right? Right. Uh, everybody respects a badge, right? So that so anytime a scammer can impersonate somebody that you respect, someone who has power or influence over you, they immediately start that conversation with either you on your heels or you giving them a certain amount of respect, which is precisely where they want to be. But no, uh, law enforcement agencies do not request gift cards as forms of payment for anything. So anytime someone, uh, regardless of whether or not they're uh, pretending to be a cop or for the I or an employee for the IRS. Anytime they're asking for gift cards is that form of payment, uh, you should hang up the phone, you should uh, cease communication with that person because uh, that is not a legitimate request. And then also the BBB does a yearly scam study and what did this year's scam st study find in relation to gift card scams? Yeah, so we actually read, uh, wrote a, an original scam study in 2021, which at the time found that gift cards had been the most popular holiday item for 14 consecutive years. And that popularity only increased when the pandemic hit. Uh, unfortunately, we are seeing uh, an incredible volume of reports involving uh, gift card scams. Those reports were up 50% in 2023 relative to 2022. So we did then release a, a comprehensive scam study update uh, to tackle the, the advent of digital gift cards, which of course um, are incredibly popular nowadays. Um, so it's something to, uh, that's probably never been more prevalent than it is right now. And it's something that's likely not going away because of how enticing it is for a scammer, uh, knowing that they can make away with a quick payday. And then, Josh, if someone unfortunately falls for this scam, is all hope lost or what should they immediately do? All hope is not lost. Um, it's uh, essential, though, that you report as quickly as possible. Report to uh, the company in question. If you purchased uh, that gift card from, say, Walmart or a popular retailer, please let them know. These uh, companies want to know that something uh, out there is happening, that their products and services are being used uh, by scammers or by uh, folks with predatory tactics. Uh, report that information to the Better Business Bureau. That way we can alert the public or work with respective law enforcement agencies if it uh, graduates to that degree and involves uh, a clear monetary loss. Uh, but you want to make sure that you're not going quiet. The only person you're ever protecting when you go quiet is the perpetrator. So please uh, make a lot of noise. Uh, make that report um, as quickly as possible. All right, Josh Plano's good information. Thank you. Thank you.